Well, that's not what you want to see when you wake up in the morning and you have to take a plane flight somewhere. Decided to snow last night, which uh, yeah, that's not the most thrilling thing. But uh, well, some people they they like snow, but not if you're gonna go fly somewhere, uh, especially since it's at a Newark airport. So everything's good so far, no delays. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Uh, you know, headed off to Orlando Airport, and then we're gonna be driving down, up, somewhere. I think it's up up to uh, Gainesville where the World Indoor Team Trials is. So this is going to be a pretty grand adventure. We're going to see uh, you know, what trouble we can uh, stay out of and what adventures we can get into and uh, we'll go from there. It's cold out here now so uh, I'm going to go back inside. And here's a quick walk around of Terminal A. Uh, this is the uh, the main terminal for Southwest. Uh, it's really small as you're going to uh, see as I walk through this place. Alright, so we made it onto the plane. Here is a little tour of the state of my seat. Now, one thing to add is it does look eh, kind of tight, but this is actually much better than some of the other airlines. So, uh, thumbs up for Southwest on that. We made it out of the airport, uh, we made it to the car rental, I got to pick whatever car I wanted so that was pretty cool. We're driving a Nissan Altima, uh, but 
uh, the adventure continues. Now we get to drive to the hotel house thing. So let's get on the road. So it's the next day now, but we did make it to the house. Um, it was just super dark out, so you wouldn't have been able to see anything anyway. But let's give you a little tour. Uh, behind me is the house, cabin house, I guess the house that we're staying in. But uh, yeah, there's a whole nice setup on this, uh, this property here with a whole bunch of other houses and stuff. So we're gonna take a look at the one that you know we're staying in and we're gonna go from there. So that pretty much wraps up the house tour. A nice little place. You get like that, uh, the touch of like, you know, the bygone years. And then at the same point in time, you got, you know, some modern conveniences like electricity is a beautiful thing. Um, you know, it has air conditioning and things like that. So it's nice and comfy. And at the same time, you can appreciate some of the like older styles of things being done and stuff like that. So uh, let's uh, continue on. This is one of the houses we stayed in at another shoot. It's really cool how they have it all set up back here. I feel like I'm almost on a quest for alligators, but there's, there's no alligators here. Okay, so we finally made it to the front of the uh, the place. This place was actually created around 1885. So they, it's really cool because they have a whole bunch of like information they provide, like the historical background, you know, the conditions the house has been in and the you know the property's been in through all the years. Because you know 1885 was a good clip ago, but really awesome. Right now, of course, we're all decked out for the Christmas season.
but it is it is cool to be able to enjoy a little bit of like historic uh, Gainesville. So we made it to Easton Newberry Sports Complex, and let's go inside and check out what's going on. Get some practicing on the official practice day because tomorrow the arrows count for score. So just finished up shooting uh, the practice rounds for official practice and everything went pretty well. So now we're at BBQ Holic. That's might be backwards in this camera. Anyway, we're at BBQ Holic and we're gonna have some Korean barbecue. This should be pretty sweet. I thoroughly enjoy coming here every year for at least the outdoor events. So I get to hit this place up twice in one year because of World Indoor Team Trials. So hopefully, uh, you know, you can enjoy the look of this food as much as I do eating it. 